Hi everyone, this is Barbara from Simply Family Living. Today I am going to label my spices in other jars. I have quite a lot of spices because I love to cook, but my spice jars could use some update. I will show you why. So we are in my kitchen and right here I have a full drawer with spices and it is organized, believe it or not. I just have quite a lot. I have a whole abundance of different spices and I store them in these glass jars that I've saved from different foods. But as you can see, some labels are fading, especially these plastic ones, they are fading a little bit and I want to update them to look nice. Uh, some jars even don't have uh, the content written on it, so um, that needs quite an update. Here I have some spices who are still in the original package. Um, it's a plastic package. Also, I don't like um, all the different sizes of packages because it just makes my drawer uh, very unorganized. In this drawer I keep my larger pots with foods. So I have some various uh, foods in this drawer. I have rice, pasta, cacao, flour, uh, oatmeal, sugar, you name it. Some of the labels here, they are fading away. And sometimes you can see what's inside, but sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. So since the labels are fading, I like to update them as well. In this drawer, I also have some items who could use labeling, especially because it's a big drawer and you cannot see simply from the top what you have in these various jars. I went online and I was looking for the perfect labels to put on my jars. Um, this turned out much more difficult than I wanted and even though they were free, I didn't want to print off uh, all of them since I'm not using all the spices they had written down. So what I did, I printed a free template, empty, which I could cut myself and handwrite my own spices, my own names, my own reference. Later I used uh, wrapping tape to put them on the jars. Let's go! So to make the labels I printed off a free but empty uh, design. So I love this circle and uh, it's a little bit grayish color. And I printed them off in three sizes because I have three or more sizes of jars and then I can use the size that fits best. So it took me a little bit to figure out what is the best way. I just started to write this one uh, in the middle and it didn't work out that well as you can tell and then I started to practice on a little paper and this is the result. I used the package tape on top of it so this is what I will do with all of my jars. Well, it took me almost forever, but my spice drawer is finally finished. I really love how the labels turn out. It's so much easier to find my stuff. I'm really happy with the results. They look so similar now. And in this drawer, the bigger jars, they just look really good, I think. I'm really happy with how the labels turned out. Everything is easier to find and because I have uh, the plastic on top, they won't have water stains, they're easy to wipe off. It's late but I've finished and I'm so happy with the results. I hope that you find this tip useful and uh, we'll try it as well to label your spices and other stuffs in your cabinet and pantry. Bye!